the only person in the world who defeated China's state-run diving program. The untold story of Chinese diving. Let's dive deep into the untold stories of Chinese diving. China's dominance in diving has been nothing short of legendary. At the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, China swept all eight gold medals in diving, cementing its place at the top of the sport. The world sees Chinese diving as unbeatable, a fortress that no one can breach. But remarkably, one person managed to defy this seemingly invincible system, Coach Yufren. Yufen was once an integral part of China's state-run diving program. She worked alongside another towering figure in Chinese diving, Su Yiming, known as the godfather of diving. Su Yiming invented the belt protection method, a key technique used for safe and effective training, first on dry land and then in the diving pool. Yufen was the pioneer in utilizing this method, and together, they laid the foundation for China's diving success. Yufen also shaped the splash disappearing magic, a technique that became a hallmark of Chinese divers' finesse and precision, earning her the title, the godmother of diving. Among her early trainees were the two most famous divers in China, Fu Minxia and Guo Jingjing, who both became national heroes. Under Yufen's guidance, they dominated international competitions, bringing home numerous gold medals and elevating China's reputation on the world stage. But despite her monumental contributions, Yufen's journey took a dramatic turn when she was forced to leave the state-run program. The reasons were complex, involving interpersonal conflicts and tensions with higher-ranking officials. It wasn't a decision she made lightly, but rather one that was thrust upon her due to the politics within the system. After her departure, Yufen decided to create something new, a diving club at Tsinghua University in Beijing. Unlike the state-run program that focused solely on athletic excellence, Yufen adopted a more holistic approach, balancing rigorous training with the athlete's education and overall well-being. This was a method more in line with practices seen in other countries, yet she applied her deep understanding of the sport's intricacies, developed during her time in the state system. The results of Yufen's approach were profound. Her divers, despite being outside the official state program, began outperforming those full-time trained within it. Yufen's Tsinghua Diving Club was producing world and Olympic champions, including stars like He Zi, Shi Tingmao, Lin Yu, Lao Lishi, Wang Xing, Zhou Luxing, and others. Notably, at the 2016 Rio Olympics, Shi Tingmao won gold in both the three-meter individual and synchronized diving events, amassing a total of four Olympic gold medals in her career. Hezi secured one gold and two silver medals, along with countless world championship titles. However, their journey to the top was far from easy. Due to her background in Yufen's club, Shi Tingmao wasn't allowed to join the national team until the age of 21, far later than most of her peers. The Chinese media painted her as a late bloomer, but the truth was far different. Her delayed entry into the national team was simply because she was a product of Yufen's club, not the state system. In contrast, Hezi was able to join the national team earlier, but only after her father intervened, pulling her out of Yu's club when the conflict between Yufen and Zhou Jihong, the head of the state-run program, became public. The tension between Yufen and Zhou Jihong wasn't just a personal feud, it represented a deeper conflict between two vastly different approaches to training divers. Zhou Jihong's state-run program emphasized early specialization, grueling training sessions, and a relentless focus on winning at all costs. In contrast, Yufen believed in a more balanced approach, where education and personal development were just as important as athletic success. Yufen's Tsinghua Club Young Divers received education in ordinary elementary school and middle schools. Despite the state program's efforts to suppress Yu's influence, her divers continued to shine. Yet, to protect its dominance, the state-run program implemented a new rule— any diver who wanted to compete nationally or internationally had to represent a provincial or national team. This effectively barred club divers from competition, forcing many of these athletes to leave her club if they wanted to pursue their Olympic dreams. This move ultimately led to the dissolution of Yu's Tsinghua Diving Club. 
Even though the rest of the world has not fully adopted Yu Fen and Su Yiming's methods, the Chinese state-run system has completely integrated their training techniques at all levels. This has allowed China to continue building a deep pool of top divers, maintaining its dominance on the global stage. Ironically, while the U.S. was once at the pinnacle of the diving world, it has now fallen behind. Despite diving's huge popularity and strong history in the U.S., the country now relies almost entirely on individual talent. Yufen always says, "We produce champions, while the rest of the world can only rely on genius." This difference, she believes, is what sets China apart from the rest of the world. In recent years, countries like Mexico, Great Britain, Australia, and Canada have surpassed the U.S., making it even challenging for American divers to qualify for the Olympics. Despite these setbacks, Yu's influence on Chinese diving remains undeniable. The techniques and philosophies she and Su Yiming developed have become the backbone of China's diving success, even though she was ousted from the system she helped create. The story of Yu Fen is one of resilience, innovation, and an unwavering commitment to her athletes. While her methods have not been widely adopted outside of China, they have undeniably reshaped the sport of diving within the country. As the only person to ever defeat the Chinese state-run diving program, Yu Fen's legacy stands as a testament to the power of one individual's vision and dedication, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The question remains. Why hasn't the rest of the diving world embraced Yufen's methods? One reason could be the widespread belief that China's success is solely due to early age training and intense, lengthy practice sessions. This misunderstanding has led many to overlook the effectiveness of the Chinese training methods, which, when combined with Yufen's innovative approach, have created a dynasty in the sport. Yufen often laments that foreign divers seem to deteriorate the more they train, rather than improve. Without a deep understanding of her methods, coaches outside of China may only grasp the surface of what makes her approach so successful. Yet, the undeniable fact remains: Yu Fen, with the help of Su Yiming, crafted a system that has allowed China to dominate the world of diving like no other country in history. And despite the challenges she faced, Yu's legacy as the only person to ever defeat China's state-run diving program remains an inspiring story of triumph against all odds. Hey, what are you doing? All right, let's jump into the next one.